everybody, it's Through New View. Thanks so much for watching. We've got a great show for you. The rundown is packed. Yes. We had an awesome yeah. sermon yeah. today. Awesome. And Facebook is just buzzing. Buzzing. Yes. Yes. Regarding the, net, the hot topic that we're discussing mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. But before we get to that, um, the ladies are already chiming in. Yeah. The yes. lovely ladies of The View are back. And yeah. I'm always excited to do this with you. Yeah. Thank you. We have you a great too. time, don't we? We have an awesome yeah. time. Yes. 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 Y'all look great, by Thank the way. You. Thank, Thank you. 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 Thank just where are we located? Well, we're located here in Marietta, Georgia, and we invite you to come on out. Our family is your family. Uh, Sundays at 10 a.m. we have our Sunday school service, and at 11 a.m. we have our church service. Now, Wednesdays, come on out and get the yes. word again uh, at 7.30 p.m. Just last Wednesday, we learned about the authenticity wow. of the Bible. Yes. Yes. I had to slow that down. That word kind of trips me. It does. <laughs> So we really have a good time with that, and we want to invite everyone to come yes. on out and yes. have an awesome time, awesome time. So if you've never seen the show, where have you been? I know. It's the best <laughs> show ever. <laughs> um, if you're not familiar with the format, let me tell you about it just real quickly. Um, what we do here is uh, we're talking about the sermon, and then our pastor um, added this really, really exciting, fun yeah. course that we call the Hot Topic, and yeah. she's been asking us to ask you your thoughts, your com your Get your comments, get your questions about Christianity and about the Lord. And we got another Amen. hot topic today, Amen. social issues, yes. all of that. We definitely want to hear from you. It's not too late. You can tweet us at Renew underscore WC Amen. or visit our Facebook page. We want to hear yes, from we do. you. Yes. Yes. All right, ladies, you ready to do this? We're ready to do this. Let's, do it. Let's get down. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, part two. We're in part two now mm -hmm. of the... Love is more yes. serious. Yes. Yes. And part one, uh, we had last weekend, and Pastor joined us, and that was great. Yes. Wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, she left yes. it to us to continue. Yes. <laughs> we said we do the best we could. <laughs> But love is more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's been awesome. Yeah, it has been. Pastor Ben just, I've been really excited about this series because I'm one of the people that I've been saved for so long. And like, I have love, down pat, God is love. But each of these series is teaching me that you really don't know love the way you think you know it. Yeah. And I'm ruining that false definition of love that I grew accustomed to. So I've been just, been like, ooh, wow, and ouch. Mm -hmm. At, at the, the same, same time. time. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like medicine, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, like, it is. You don't like taste it at first, like, and you like, this thing is cleaning, cleaning a lot of things out yeah. of you. So yeah. I'm encouraged. And I left the, I left the sermon today saying, God, I want to love just mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And not just get a high off the sermon, but really right. just put my, my mind to it and my heart into it. Ask God to teach me how to love like he loves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's been my heart. Yeah. 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 Amen. Because yeah. I think the whole, um, the prodigal son thing. She jumped again with the prodigal son. For those of y'all who tuned in last week about the prodigal son, and it's a very popular story about when a young man took his father's money, thought he could do, right. you know, thought he could make more money off of it, thought yeah. he could handle it better than what his father could, and say, I'm about to go off, and I got this from your father, I'm about to just do my own thing. And what he didn't account for was a famine. Mm -hmm. right. He spent all his money up doing prodigal living. And Pastor said that we're not so different than that young son. Mm -hmm. She was saying that in time, we God blesses us with something like a marriage or job. Like, God, thank you for this job, and now I got it from him. Right. How many times I've done that? Yeah. Like, yeah, God, yeah, yeah. please give me this yeah. job. Please yeah. give me this job. Yeah. So once I got a job, I ain't praying no more. Right. <laughs> Pray faster than everything. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. And now, now I'm tripping. Like, God, okay, thank you. I got it from here. And that, she said, is like part of a living. Is it time you say to God, now you give me this blessing. You give me my inheritance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. I got it, God. Thank you for that. I need yeah. you for this yeah. part, but not this part. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 I thought it was awesome. And even in our planning, in our planning, um, how we, if we have that A-type personality, mm -hmm. okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to do this, this, and this. Yeah. But the things that we don't factor in are things that he already knows Amen. and things that he's already made provision for simply yeah. because of his love. Amen. And I also like the point where she made about um, how the guy was robbed. And 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 and, and yeah, the it's Samaritan, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and and how not only did that good Samaritan do good, but it, that good Samaritan showed love, I mean, yeah, complete love, 
and lo how love mm -hmm. takes you outside of your means. Amen. This Samaritan had other things to do, particularly because it was the Samaritan was on the road to go somewhere. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now all of a sudden the Samaritan sees this person on the side of the road that needs help. Amen. So you mean to tell me that my day can be interrupted by love? Wow. You know, that That's was crazy. awesome. Was awesome. Yeah. That my day is interrupted by love and it's okay because now I'm able to share the love yeah. that was freely given to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I think it was Luke, yeah. Luke, 2, Luke 10, 10. 20, Luke 10, 23, where mm -hmm. she came from that. That was awesome. Yeah. But even about the um, prodigal son, I found myself so challenged because when the prodigal son came back, the big old party for him, the, the right. father put a robe on him, gave me a sit in the ring, which I'm talking about it later on. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is yes, awesome. Yes, that was that was right. come back to that point. Because yes. <laughs> uh, I didn't find with the son, the older son, like, I've been going party for this man. That's right. I've yeah. been obedient. Right. I've been serving God. And this person will even go to church. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I see them slipping and sliding before. Right. And they get all this blessing God. What about me? Yeah. yeah. Right. We yeah. all get this compare that <laughs> to how we also we also talked about how the kingdom of God is as unto yeah. um the oh, vineyard. The, the vineyard. Yes. yes, the vineyard. Yes. And the servants yes. Yes. That, that came mm -hmm. one at the each hour, yeah, and they all receive the same money. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna work for an hour. <laughs> right, and then all of a sudden, now, I, you know what? Could I say that now? No, no, and not only that, the ones who work for an hour got paid first. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So the ones that work for 12 hours got paid last. Yeah, yeah, yes. you know, but how she tied all that in together with, yes, you agreed to this. This is yes. what you agreed to. You agreed to this pay. Yeah. Right. If you had to ask for more, you could have got more. Yeah, that's right. I'm like, yeah. you know what, Jesus, I can start asking right now. <laughs> well, well yeah. it, it, it really just it really just ties in the whole example of the love of God. Yeah. And how his love right. met one who the prodigal son who came in was the same as the son that stayed. Amen. Yes. Yeah. It's the same as the one who worked for twelve hours and the one who worked for one hour. Yes. That his love is not different. Yeah. Yes. So it's not about our circumstances or what we do or yeah. if we've done it right or we've done it wrong. Yeah. But his love is stable and consistent. And yes. The, the the message she keeps giving is that um no matter what the storm is like Love is still at the bottom of the boat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's still there. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's, it's not moving. It's, right. it's so hard. But yeah. It's easy when you're on the blessing end. Right. But it's so difficult when you like the person that works and do everything. Like you just you right. the person that achieves so much and you think love is something that you earn. Right. It's 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 really really right. Right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not. And just like how she was saying, it's not. It wasn't the father's fault on why this particular son felt as though because you're working for me. This is how you yeah. show, show, show your love. Yeah. Yeah. I'm throwing this party. So in the midst of this party, you can ask me for a party. <laughs> and I throw you a party. Yeah. Yeah. You know? but, yeah. but we're like, no, I love you more because I did these things. Yeah. Right. Look at what I did for you. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Instead of me saying, I did this for you because of the love that was freely given to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm freely doing this. And so love doesn't, isn't one plus one equals two. Yeah. Love is Love abounds on it. On its but, own. If it was, but if it was truly that, I'm sorry, Joe, girl. Okay. You know, 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 and knew the, the the love that his father mm -hmm. had for him, mm -hmm. that he wouldn't have been so bitter by his, his brother receiving right. the party too. Because right. love, has never said, is transferable. That's it's right. not that I'm doing this so that you give me something back. That's not what love is at all. Right. Love is that I've been given love so much that I have no choice but to give it to you. Mm -hmm. It's not that I want you to give back to me. It's just right. that I have so much love right. that I just want to give it away. Right. Yeah, it was freely she, given. And, freely and, given. And, when, and when she was talking about that, what really helped me too was I definitely, I mean, I have been there where I felt like, okay, I've been doing all this and then you see something else going on. You mm -hmm. see someone else being blessed and, mm -hmm. and it was really interesting today because I've been there when I've been, I felt like, I'm missing out. Mm -hmm. Now, why didn't I get that? And I really love that she was just talking about, okay, instead of, basically hating on that person, mm -hmm. you start saying to God, God, you know, yeah. this is something in my heart too. Right. Yeah. I would really right. like this. Yeah. I would really like that. You know yeah. what you did for such and such, Lord? Mm -hmm. I really would like the same thing. And mm -hmm. she was saying that, you know, God is really saying, I'll give you that. You just... You haven't asked. Man, you, man. Just spent, you just spent man. all this time pouting and hating on that person instead of saying, God, wow, you re that was awesome what you yeah. did. Mm -hmm. I know you can do the same for me. I want yeah, you yeah. to do the same for me. And yeah. then what I really liked about it, too, was that when, you know, she was talking about compassion, yeah. 
And I mean, when she was talking about God, um, you know, giving to everybody, mm -hmm. the person that worked for one hour and 12 right. hours, it was almost like she was saying, there's plenty, there's plenty, there's plenty of blessings. Right. Right. And plenty right. of yes. God gives yes. plenty yes. of so blessings yes. and plenty of yes. love. And so if he does that in you, it's going to be easy for you to do that for someone else. Mm -hmm. what, if, if we can capture yeah. that concept. Yeah. And I was also thinking too, when she started talking about uh, Jesus abiding and being mm -hmm. with us, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I was like, okay. That's Cause at first I was like, how am I going to get that down? Yeah. But for me, if I, I felt like when she was saying, um, Jesus is with you. And Amen. Jesus is saying, I'm abiding with you. Absolutely. You should look at it as a saying, Jesus is yeah. with you. And then I felt like, okay, this is doable. Because if I can feel like Jesus is with me, then I don't have to feel like I'm without. Amen. And That's I can right. hear his voice saying, hey, you see that? That was cool, huh? Amen. Right. I got that, that for you, too. Right. 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 No, so that was, that was freeing right Amen. there. And, and sometimes in our sabbatical walk, um, we get, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we get know, so stop caught, me too. <laughs> we get so caught up in um in doing. Yeah. You know, um we have to be careful and make sure that our relationship with God is exactly that. It's a relationship mm -hmm. that we that, that, that love, that kindness, um, mm -hmm. all of that. It's coming out of a relationship, and it's not burdensome. Mm -hmm. So the things that we do in God, we do it out of love, Amen. with yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah. And and we continue in that way because sometimes people have been saved a long time. They can look over their life and say, hey, I've worked and I've done this. Mm -hmm. And you and, and, it, and sometimes you'll feel some kind of way about it, and you have to repent. Mm -hmm. And it's not God's fault. It's it was always there. Amen. Yeah. You, could, yeah. to, you could have just opened up your mouth and asked. Yes. Right. Yes. It, it, you know? this, this, this series has really been changing the way that I look at the love of God. Amen. Because really, you know, one of the things that Pastor was sharing about this is that, you know, I think sometimes even in, you know, receiving the love of God, even being able to give the love of God, Amen. when she was talking about the fact that, you know, the way that God gives to us, um, out of his unconditional love, he just pours one thing on top of the other Amen. over you, one thing on top Amen. of the other for, for you. Amen. And you just can't help at some point, that's going to spill over and go to somebody else. Amen. Yeah. It's not that, you know, I give you love and I expect that love back. Amen. You know, it's not like that, but it's that you're giving whether it's given back yeah. to you or not. Yeah. You know, and that saying, reminds me of this song. No, one point she said, <laughs> 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 I think mm -hmm. it touched him as well. But how when the prodigal son came back, mm -hmm. at first he had the speech about God, I'm not worthy because uh, I just need to be a servant. And how the father put the sitting the rain back on his son's mm -hmm. hand who represented authority. Right. And I love how Pastor said, just because you may have sinned mm -hmm. or you may have went out there and did, and did some kind of things that, that were wrong and displeasing God, when you come back, God throws a part and give you authority back. Yes. That you can still rebuke the enemy. No, he still, if right. you still have authority, you can rebuke the enemy That's and how right. God has restored that in us. So that touched me so much that yeah. no matter what you did out there, once you're back, right. God put authority back in your right. fingers. And I yeah, love yeah, that. That, that, was, that, was, that was awesome. awesome. Yeah, that was awesome because really... Um, it, it was it was a clarity on the love of God because Amen. sometimes you know as she was mentioning we think that God loves us more when we're doing it right yeah right. yeah you know and we think that okay if if it's all good today and God is loving me because I haven't sinned yeah but this son came back Amen. a sinner and the signet ring was put on him as a sinner Amen. just the way he was wow, wow, and wow. and the way she shared that is exactly I'm giving you back your authority. Amen. Oh, yes. God is giving our authority to rebuke the enemy, Amen. even where we are. Amen. Just come on back. Because he, he yeah. wants to condemn you. Yes, he wants to condemn like, you. Say, who you are to rebuke? You were just with me. You, you, right, yeah. right. But he, he said, you know, obviously, but come back. Yeah. You know, yeah. Then you get the signal ring, and you can rebuke him. You know, yeah. but but that was so freeing. Amen. Because yes. you know we have this sort of um, sin. God hates me mentality, yeah. uh, you know, in Christianity. And that's just, it's just religious. It's not love. It's not Amen. his love. Amen. Yes. You know, his love is so unconditional, you know, and the fact that, you know, she was saying that he, he knew who we were even from the beginning, yeah. you yeah. know, he knew that, that who and, we were. And, and the, um, I, I, I hate to, to say this, 
We sing a song uh, in the choir called um, I Give You More. Mm. Mm. And, yes. and it's a phrase that we say in there that you're deserving of you're more. Deserving yes. more. Mm. You know, and, and, and that yeah. really wrong with me throughout mm. the whole service yes. because of the love and the grace that God gives us. He's so deserving of more, Amen. you know, Amen. even though we are not deserving. Yes. He's so deserving yes. of so much more. You dance, 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 you it turns you around, yeah. you know, well, in your perception, in your mind of things, and even mm -hmm. when your friendships and your marriages right. and your different mm -hmm. wants of life, you turn around and now when you go to the grocery store, you just want to smile. Yeah. Yeah. When you walk out of church, you just want to keep <laughs> smiling. Well, you know, even a part of that is, you know, when Pastor was preaching, a part of it was she was challenging us. Yes to love one another more. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And I thought that was so huge. Just talking about, you know, when God begins to pour all of his love on you, the compassion that begins to pour from your heart. I was really touched by that. I yeah. was convicted. Ooh, you know, convicted. you talk about, yeah. you know, toes and everything else being stepped on. I was like, you know, there's a little bit more compassion that I need to show in areas of my life. Yeah. You know, as because that's the same compassion God has shown yeah. on me. Yeah. The same yeah. love that he's given me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that, before I stepped my toe, I'm sorry, I stepped my toe so bad. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, you see a brother and sister who has a need. Yes. 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 And she's going to touch on this more next next week, so I'm not going to really, I can't really go into it. I want to because she, she ain't shared a part yet. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. but, um, but the part she did share about how love we, anticipates. Love anticipated need, mm -hmm. that you see a brother and sister mm -hmm. in need. Why don't you initiate the the yes. supply that need? You have yes. it. Why don't you do that? And it was, mm -hmm. love should compel you to do that. I was yes. like, ooh. And you, and, you know what? Yes. and you know what? The reason why sometimes it's our perception mm -hmm. of love. Mm -hmm. it, it causes us to think. I'm, I'm always taken back to when um, Pastor was saying, take off your glasses and put on somebody else's glasses. Yeah. They're yeah. worldview. Yeah. Yeah. But um, when it comes down to it, our perception of love at times says, I am deserving mm -hmm. of what I have. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the reason why you That's don't true. have is because you're not helping yourself. Wow. Or you're good. not using what you got to get to where you need to go. That's good. Mm -hmm. And I did it. So if I did it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. And it's not that. The, the teaching that we have, it erases all of that because right. it says that I am undeserving. Right. And because I'm undeserving, and it was free, love was freely given yeah. to me. Yeah. You know, through Jesus dying on the cross, his blood, he freely gave that to me. And because he freely helped me, I can give you a ride, my sister. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can give you a ride on what you need. You need someone to help babysitting? I can help you on that. Yeah. You know, those couple of hours of sleep that I'm getting, you know what? What I can do is sacrifice this because sacrifice was given to me. Oh, yeah. so, you so, my, so my to toes, honey, go do it. You know. say that. <laughs> You know, and you know, she was talking about the Good Samaritan yeah, when she was talking yeah. about that, and it's just you know, every time I read that story, we, I think we all I get convicted, convicted yeah. because yeah. for the Good Samaritan, it wasn't for him. It wasn't about like you said why they why he got there, what he did to get there, yeah. if he'd done everything right mm -hmm. or if he'd done everything wrong. That really wasn't his thing. He mm -hmm. just saw the need. Yeah. Right. Not only did he help him get taken care of, but he paid any paid. kind of debt yes. that yeah. he Future had, debt. and this Future this debt. man. Mm -hmm didn't have any reason to do that. He, right. was, he wasn't going to get anything back. In fact, he didn't even care about getting anything back. Right. He was like, hey, take care of him. Amen. I'm out. <laughs> didn't leave no, didn't leave anything. Yeah. It was just like, yeah. just take just care do, of him. Just do, do for him. Yeah, and she was really explaining that that is the love that Christ wow. had for us. Yeah. That we, he, Christ is the good Samaritan. Wow. And we're the one on the ground. She literally Amen. said and, and yeah. that has been, you know, stripped and robbed wow. because the enemy comes mm. to steal and kill and destroy. Yes. That, that's what she was saying, that Christ is the one who's been the good Samaritan for us Amen. who's been laying on the ground, passed by all. Amen. And his love for us should compel us to do the same, to be the Samaritan for someone else. Mm. It, it was it huge. Was it was. It was. Huge. It was. It was awesome. And, 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 and like you said, he also, that Samaritan also, and Pastor gave reference to this, on how 
the Samaritan put oil mm. Mm -hmm. and, and wine. And wine. Yeah. 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 Gave him yeah. oil and wine. Yeah. And I think that they were that was very significant yeah. on how but, we should be. Yeah, the oil being being the healing power of God. And she said, you know, sometimes we as a church we're walking in the healing power of and God. We, God. Right. Yes. We can tell this and tell that concerning another person. But she said, not only addition to, to uh you know walking in the power and the presence of God but also walking in the wine or the love of God. Yeah, that, yeah. that person that's on the ground also needs uh, you, you, the wine, that which make, brings joy, Amen. the love of God yes. poured on that wound, poured on that wounded Amen. soul. That was huge. And, you know, just a declaration that we're going to be a people that not only have the power of God, but the love of God as well. Yes. Yes. You know? I'm sorry to say because she, I'm, I'm done, I'm, I think I'm done. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. But, but, but how you say how he poured that, who was meant to be as far as jubilation, with the jubilation, those who are married, dream, right. mm -hmm. he poured that on the wounded. Yes. Yes. And how Pastor said, it's not just enough to love people who are well, mm -hmm. but people right. who are broken, people who are abused, that's right. what the oil and wine needs to be applied to. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I thought it was awesome. You teasing people faces, who mm -hmm. maybe well and all the guy got it all together, but the people that's right beside you, you know, are hurting, yeah. you know, are going through. Pour that love upon them because that's, that's right. what it's meant for. Yeah. Yeah, right. But you know why some people don't do that? Some people don't do it, and I've been convicted for it. Not doing it simply because I feel like, well, this person is, they ain't, they ain't really receive this like that. But then I'm just sitting here. The scripture came to me that, you know, through love and kindness have I drawn thee. Mm -hmm. You know, you can draw more. How, how did your mother say you draw more? Bees with honey. With, with honey than Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that, that love is important just as well as the oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the oil is able to point out, which which is the anointing, able to point out, yeah, you working with poverty. You got a poverty mindset or you got this or you got that. You can point out those things. But then putting that oil on there, that that yeah. that, that wine. And she's she not saying point out. She's saying that to break it. But love is gonna remain. Yeah, love yeah. causes to remain. It's a whole nother level. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. done for right now. Well, you did good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did good. Um, we're gonna you know switch now mm -hmm. to our hot topic. Amen. And um, it's interesting. You know, we are talking about. We asked the question. We asked you, all of you uh, watching. Uh, how can we break the cycle of violence in Ferguson? Mm -hmm. uh, we know that two officers were shot uh, just recently, just a few days ago. And, and so now we asked this question of, of you. And um, I just wanted to read the comments that we got in. I mean, everybody, you know, and it was interesting because when everyone was writing in, uh, right. they were listing the things that they felt um, needed to happen. You know, I had, there was one viewer that said that the police need to know their role. And people need to know their role. Meaning, police need to know to, that their role is to serve and protect. <laughs> yeah. And, and, right. <laughs> and they're laughing because we've had this discussion. Yeah. Yes. 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 discussion. Yes. yes. And then it said that people, though, need to know their rights as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. uh, another person said a town hall meeting uh, between civil like-minded people and law enforcement mm -hmm. to bridge mm -hmm. the gap. Um, the same. Part, another person said the same thing between civilians and law enforcement. Um, between the urban communities and the police, uh, between police and the lower economic communities. And so um, reading your comments, everyone uh, is saying yeah. is saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I, don't, I think it's a divide. I mean, I, I agree there's a divide, but it's, to me it's a divide between not just police officers and social economic divide, but it's a divide between me, myself, and the whole of the goodness of the whole. Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of people are out for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be what Pastor said, police officer will find an honor to serve and protect the community and be an honor mm -hmm. to die in doing your service. Mm -hmm. Now like this, no, I don't want to die doing this anymore. It's about me. Mm -hmm. I want my I want to be safe. I wanna I wanna I wanna make sure my family's safe. I want I'm out for me. And I think that, you know, a lot of this this the either this black black love and this love, but it's a, it's not as it's not love for the whole and for the community. And to mm -hmm. me, it's a matter of I hate to say this, but a matter of of self love. And I think mm -hmm. we have loved ourselves to a point where we don't love ourselves rightly. Mm -hmm. You have people sagging their pants, cussing out officers because self expression is valued more than how you respect others. But the this reason is who why, I am. but the reason I'm why, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just being honest though. I'm just I'm just being real because I think we do a lot of things. But the reason self, why uh, loving ourselves is not really the right way to love ourselves, and those things gives us a sticky situation. Police officers, I love myself, so I ain't about trying to understand where you're coming from. Because mm -hmm. I won't go home every night. Well, I, I you mean, know, I'm just, I'm just. I, I don't think that that's fair. 
Okay, but well, I mean, <laughs> when they sign up to protect and serve, they sign up to protect and serve you by being your bodyguard, basically. Mm-hmm. So, no, I'm not willing to just lose my life over some foolishness. Mm-hmm. But if I have to lose my life and leave my family fatherless or motherless, then I'm going. I need to do it for a great cause. My kids need to know that their father or their mother died for a good reason, saving someone else's life from the bad guys. I can't look out the window and see all bad guys, and it's me versus them. Then it becomes, well, you know what? I really just don't know what to well, do. Well, see, in I, think this case. Of, I think it's a matter. I think it's a matter of world. I think it's a matter of past has different worldviews. Like I think that the the bad guy could be so different in Smile's eyes. Like the young guy who maybe wear his pants down low. I mean, he's a bad guy mm-hmm. at all. He's just expressing himself in a vibe that's probably not conducive for you to right. be expressing yourself right. like that. Right. As opposed to somebody else of a different color creed, maybe able to express himself a little different with the same bag of pants, but to them, they're not bad guys. Right. So for to just look at people with a one-dimensional view saying, I'm not going to... I'm not going to sacrifice my side, myself for a so-called perceived bad guy because of how you dress or how you look. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's based off of how you look or, you know, how you dress. I'm not saying that. I'm saying at the end of the day that people, kids, got to know that they, that person died for a good reason. And not just, you know, we, we died protecting someone or something, you know, not versus, oh, because you hate me and I dislike you that, you know, we in the middle of the street shooting each other. That is not it. That is not to protect and serve. Mm-hmm. That's not what they signed up for. And my thing is, what, I, I, well, what I also say, okay. <laughs> this, this is what I think, that when the officers are getting ready, they should put on their love vest, God's love vest, mm-hmm. before they put on the suit. Amen. Okay? Because sometimes when you turn around and you, and, you, and you put on the suit and you take the job, you're looking at the job, the criteria of the job, you dismiss a lot of other views and in you dismissing that you're dismissing the possibility that there may be something else as glenda was saying that just because this guy's wearing his pants sagging hey let me take a step back and change my glasses for a moment this may be okay and he may not be so so much of a threat and i know for a fact that police officers are trained but i think that it's at the same time they're able to use good judgment. Mm-hmm. Good judgment is God's judgment mm-hmm. at, the, at the same time. I know everybody isn't saved, but at the same time, good judgment is God's judgment. And I think <laughs> well, that it should change I'm, when it comes down to police I'm, officers. I'm not and, saying, I'm, I'm, saddened, like I'm saddened that the view of law enforcement is, uh, is tainted by a few mm-hmm. because there are several great law enforcement officers. There are several black Great black men that wear their pants sagging. I, I, <laughs> she not. She not. She not. She not wait. What again. I'm saying is, I hate that the <laughs> the idea of law enforcement is so tainted and so ugly for on the likes of a few that that uh, misuse their authority. In our society, there are, great, there are well. great law enforcement officers all over this world, all over this U.S. And you know, there there are great law enforcement officers everywhere. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, we have to be responsible for ourselves and our family and our community, and they're responsible for theirs. And at the end of the day, at the other end of the day, <laughs> we have to pray, honey. Yeah, we right. do, we do, because it, it's, it's you're point. still showing that line that yeah. at their end of the day and at my end I, of the day. Well, I, I, did, I didn't, I didn't differentiate between. I, what, I think you both, you, I think you're both right. It's a dual responsibility. Yeah. It, it's absolutely a dual responsibility in terms of. Uh, police officers in the community. Yeah, really guarding. Um, you know how they respond yes. to the young, mm-hmm. the young people. It's also the responsibility of young people to understand what's what's expected and what's required. Uh, you know, in that type of atmosphere. I think we had a previous discussion earlier. We were talking about guns. You know, young kids and guns. It's not a good idea. Yeah to have a fake gun or whatever right. in the middle. You can have that in the country right. if you're shooting, you know, a deer. Right. But that, that's right. not practical in the middle of downtown Atlanta. Right. You Absolutely. know, that, that you got to know, and that's called wisdom. It, it, it's it's going to be wisdom on the behalf of, of the citizens to know what's practical because you know what atmosphere we're in. But at, the same, time, at, the, same time, at the same time. And the police officers as well. <laughs> at the same time. 
I should have, I, I mean, there's a thin, there's a thin line where you have your freedom, but because you stay in this neighborhood, you don't have certain freedom. Yeah, you can't go outside at a certain time of night because uh, that's the time when you may get mistaken for robbing, for going in somebody's house. So yeah, I understand what you're saying about using wisdom, but what we're challenging here is why is it that I have to use, why is it that because I'm poor, and because I stay in this particular neighborhood, I am targeted or my children may be potential targets for bad things to happen? Well, that's well, that, that, that's that, the question. That comes from both sides of it. Right. Like they could be targeted from the law enforcement side of it, and they could be targeted from the community side of it. It goes both ways. That's just the reality of it. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I just think that, you know, at this day and time, the education on black history doesn't hold as much weight with certain um, minorities. And this including myself. You know, you really don't see as big of a um, rapport when it comes down to a lot of kids knowing exactly where they come from. Yeah, I think Miss Monifa, I think Monifa said it some of the first time. I mean, I'm not saying what you're not, what she said was pretty much on point, I thought, that both sides have work to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a responsibility to educate our children, educate our culture, that these are the times we're living in. Right, Honestly, right. it's the time we're living in. Yeah. But educate ourselves by our own worth, our worth in God. Educate ourselves about, about where we come from, mm -hmm. where we are right now, and also the law enforcement to not just be in haste mm -hmm. to judge a situation as right. being the worst situation. Mm -hmm. That not every black kid you see with a gun in his hand is one a full grown adult attempting to kill, or not trying to disrespect you, or not mm -hmm. trying to kill you, mm -hmm. but that take a chance to really assess the situation before you react. So yeah. I think yeah. it's, it's I think it's yeah. we worked on both I sides. Think well, too, and, mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. No, yeah. We, yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. And I think, um, you know, as we continue to discuss, we, we could go on and yeah, on and talk on. about this. And even based on the responses that people gave, it's a hot topic yeah. that will continue. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but we just, we'll continue to talk about these yeah, this things ain't done. and continue to go through. <laughs> yes. And we still, we want you to continue to post your comments. We enjoy reading them, enjoy mm -hmm. discussing them, and getting to the truth and the root of all situations. And we thank you so much for watching the show. Hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, you can tune in next time and see us again. Uh, you've been watching The Renew View. Mm -hmm.